I have been an artist entrepreneur since I was a young teenager. I have spent my life making my own jobs and you can too. My name is Kathleen Laziza and I am the executive director of Micro Museum. This series is called Make It Your Own. It is designed to encourage people to use their talents for their own personal economic development. Because in 21st century America, there are no jobs. Nobody owes you a job. You have to make your own job. And this is what artists do every single day. This series is not advocating that you personally become an artist, but rather that you learn to think like an artist. Listen to these artists talk about their experiences. Episode 8, Quitting is Not a Good Option. So there's no doubt that where you're living and the culture that you're seeing, and you're, you know, that you're kind of allowing yourself to be in, mm -hmm. is affecting how you ultimately make art, how you want to create, how you, and you know, that all comes down to how you see things, how things are perceived and what you're open to or close to, which is equally you know, important. Um, so for me, I think that you know, location does play a big role. I think going out in the rain is really good, or going out in the sun. Just going out, mm -hmm. change where you, where you are and how you feel right now, like that. For the last few years, I've definitely noticed that, uh, that I'm constantly chasing. Um, and so I think that, uh, speaking to what you were saying, that maybe I'm trying to um, cut my addiction <laughs> a little bit <laughs> to um, to constantly seeking and getting rewards for things uh, but certainly the the date I've tried to amp up the texture of the day a little bit with making things nice in my house or you know so that actually just getting back home gives me that feeling of reward and having made this space didn't come to me very early the understanding of exactly what I want mm -hmm. to do. Weirdly enough, I started seeing that everything is art. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's, not, it's very cliche, mm -hmm. but it is literally your mindset. And you know, it, it got to a point where I got a little bit like, had like a compulsive disorder because I would look at any phenomena happening around me and be like, oh my gosh, I can't take my eyes away from it. <laughs> and it could be something like, you know, seeing, I remember I saw a, I was um, in Prague and I saw a, a dead body of uh, the butterfly in between the windows when I was closing it and I just stared at it like for 15 minutes. I, I think it's like it's the, the different type of courage I think that they are, you know, the athlete. You know, it's like you jump into the ocean, the swimming triathlons and, and everybody's the, different. And a lot of the artists out there say, I'm shy, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, I, I don't want to debate, I don't want to discuss this, you know, I'm not good at it, or, you know, and uh, so it's, but it's the, the mo some kind of like a moment, creative moment, and then you really get the call, you jump into it. We know this is the nature of the sting of ours, the life of the artist. You have to go where the opportunity takes you. My, my favorite thing I've added to workspace recently is I have, uh, I have some mannequins, and I really like to put the outfit that I'm going to wear the next day, or the thing that I've created, onto the mannequin. And I sort of envision myself, and, and then when I'm out in that outfit, I have this whole other perception of it I didn't have before because I've been looking at it. I've been following things that's been in my mind. Like I have this sense of myself um, in a place that I didn't have before. I have little, um, you know, ways of tricking myself, basically. I, my, my thing that I do, if I'm really sort of paralyzed, like uh -huh. I can't get going, uh -huh. is I just, um, for a smallest step, I, I say, what is the first thing I can do 
towards this project, you know, this smallest thing. And then I literally set a timer and I just say, all right, I'm going to do this for 10 minutes. And I just start doing that small thing, whatever it is. And usually by just breaking through that resistance by doing a small step, mm -hmm. I, it, it enables me to continue and even change course if I need to or whatever, but it's just making little tricks so I can actually just start doing something. And I find that the doing of something um, opens things up then. Being a musician myself, I, I, I don't know, I, don't, I think in general it's maybe more of my personality, not so much even just from music. I, I don't really praise and accolades, kind of, it, it freaks me out a little bit. I'll jump in on also the creating, but I think, you know, it's that little spark, it's the idea, it's the thing when you have an idea and it's so exciting. I've been asked to like speak at like you know schools to speak to younger kids and stuff, and I always have a hard time doing that because I have a hard time bringing myself to tell kids to to do what I did, but I just knew that what I had to do, I knew I had to do that. And so it's it's kind of like if if that's the way you feel, but like you kind of have to know it. You can't have someone else tell you. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You know, and I liken it in my story to uh, somebody who had to become somebody else in order to survive. So say like in South Africa, like all these people, you know, white and black and of all colors, like were forced into leaving South Africa during the apartheid era. Mm -hmm. And sometimes having to leave a part of yourself behind in order to become something else. And so, I mean, certainly there's a grieving process, but then on the other hand, you're just, you're becoming someone else. Turn off this video and go do something that surprises yourself. Here are three steps to remember. Step one, try looking at your problems through the lens of another person. Perhaps your problems are fixable. Step two, remember, you are a human being and not a robot. You have something beautiful and significant to contribute. Step three, being grateful is not a platitude. It is a life force that keeps on giving. To learn more about this series, make it your own. Visit micromuseum.com.